We're at the INSEAD Leadership Summit Europe celebrating the school's 50th anniversary. I'm joined by Josip Bajonen, the mayor of Helsinki. Welcome. Thank you. Can you tell me how Helsinki and Finland have weathered the economic crisis? Taking into account the severity of the crisis, I would say that Finland and also the city of Helsinki, we are, we are doing quite well. Uh, the problem with the with the Finnish economy was that there was a drastic drop in the exportations in 2009. But we are coming up and the reason for the soundness of the situation is that uh, our banking system didn't have the problems other, others had and also the depth of the nation is, is relatively low. And the banks didn't have that crisis because of subprime mor mortgages specifically or I would say that in Finland the reason was that we had we had a crisis in early 1990s and it, it was a banking crisis and so our banks were uh, did, did not take so high risks as the others so that prepared you you were prepared yeah, yeah. but uh, it's a difficult situation especially when the exploitation went down so 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 fast last year but uh, we wait for the better and thinking about the present crisis with the Greece and, and, and Southern Europe. Uh, our situation is far better than the others and the interest, rate, in, interest rates are, are relatively comparable to the German ones. You talk about exportation going down. It seems counterintuitive, but doesn't protectionism go up during an economic crisis? Thinking about Finland with uh, only five million people in, in in Finland, it's uh, uh, protectionism is something we, uh, it's, it doesn't fit for a small nation. We, we want borders open. You are a politician as well as a businessman. Um, yeah. How important is the role of government in during economic crises? During these days, everybody thinks that it's a government which is, which has the advantage of. Uh, but uh, I would say that. Uh, in any case, uh, the economy must be driven by the businesses or the ent entrepreneurs and, and the government must uh, put in the framework for... And in, in, if, you, if we talk about Finland and Nordic states, uh, we have uh, the Nordic welfare system and it means that there is a, the public sector has a very strong impact in, in the fields of social sector and healthcare and schools and that kind of thing. But uh, the driving force comes always, always from the businesses. What are some things that you should absolutely do and things that you should absolutely avoid doing in an economic crisis just as a kind of matter of principle? The first thing two years ago we, we did was that we tried, tried to revitalize the economy and, and kept everything going as normal. And, we, we still have a quite a huge investment level in the city. But uh, just now we are thinking more about how to balance the budget. The number one thing today is that we, we have to have more efficiency in our, our public welfare system. And the number one thing is, is that we have a very large uh, retirement rate at the moment. And what we will try to do is that when two people leave the job for retirement, we only employ one extra. But it, it is a difficult task to, to cut the costs, but uh, you have to do it because the, the welfare state, it's something which I very much believe in, but you have to be efficient within the framework of the welfare state. Well, I think a lot of people believe in it, but you have to have the money to support that, and when the economy's down, that money has to come from somewhere. In, in Finland, the municipalities have the taxation right, and the city of Helsinki East has a tax, a municipal tax, which is 17.5 percent, and it seems to go up next year to 18.5 percent of the incomes. So where are you now, and where do you see the future? I, I see that the long-term prospects for Finland, and especially for the Helsinki and Helsinki region, are very bright. The reason is that the world has changed very much. Today, Helsinki is uh, actually very, very close to the eastern market. I mean, China and, and South Korea, and, and uh, we are halfway between New York and Beijing. Then, one thing which has happened uh, is that uh, since the collapse of communism, Helsinki is not anymore a kind of a 
dead end of the Western Europe. We are we have the pros we we have the new developing uh, Baltic states, which are member of the European Union. Estonia is only 70 kilometers from Helsinki, and then we have the the Russian uh, Saint Petersburg, which is uh, with five million people. It's only 350 kilometers. So there is a lot of potential in the neighborhood, lot of potential in the Finnish economy, but just now we have to tackle the economical crisis and how to cut the costs and how how to balance the budget. So, as the closest European capital to the Asian markets, you'll be looking for even increased investment? Yes, we are, we are working actually quite a lot with the Eastern markets. And the reason, of course, is that the, the two largest Finnish exporting companies uh, are very much uh, working in the Eastern market. I mean, Nokia and Kone corporations. What about INSEAD? What impact did INSEAD have on your life, both professionally and personally? It was 30 years ago, exactly 30 years ago, when I I was uh, finishing studies here at INSEAD, and I would say that it, INSEAD had a very strong in impact in my uh, in my business life, and also uh, perhaps for the political life also, and and certainly it, it has an impact for our personal life because my wife Jana, who is here with me, we we spend our first year of marriage also during the year here at Fontainebleau. Thank you for joining us on NCI Knowledge. Thank you. Thank you very much.